Good evening and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I want to talk about my jazzy life. I said I wasn't going to get on here and talk about it, but I am so tired of the YouTube streets talking about this lady. I'm one of her uh, subbies. Yes, I'm one of her subbies and I talked about her a while back about um, in one of my videos when she was com complaining about she was going to commit suicide and I had to step on her toes and talk about it and stuff. Now I'm back on here and I said I'm going to start doing some reaction videos along with my regular videos but right now I want to talk about my jazzy life. I am so tired of this lady. I love jazz, I really do, but I'm tired of her getting on here begging people for money. I used to feel sorry for her and everything, and I was going to help her and everything, but she never, like I said, she never did get in contact with me because I was not one of her kids ass people. Excuse my language. But I wasn't. So, I just said, okay, whatever. Now, she's on here constantly talking about she don't get no food stamps because the trolls I guess some of her uh, I guess some of her subbies are trolls and stuff too and the reactors have taken her stamps away lady I don't believe that okay get real you just want it's Christmas time and you want somebody to feel sorry for you jazz is a pandemic out here people are struggling and everything you don't give back to your subbies I have no long as I've been watching you I have never seen you say thank you you always got a hand held out in your subs the ones that are hypnotized by you always issuing out things you can say that something's wrong with your teachers like a while back I watched one of your videos you say your TV is broken but you're gonna say that I'm not asking nobody to buy me no TV, but you just, you are. You asking somebody to buy you a TV. And some girl that was on there, you talking about pots and pans and stuff. Now, I I saw on somebody else's video, they showed that, I think it was the clock chasers, showed that the girl was telling you to meet her at the mall and she got some pots and pans for you and stuff. I like, Lord Jesus, I just shook my head. That is so pathetic. And I watched another reactor's video. And I think her name is Leslie, is the baby's mom. I don't like to say no baby mama or no baby daddy. The baby's mother. You claim that uh, Kaylin be talking to her on the phone. That girl has not talked to that girl on no phone. Y'all just got her locked up back there and stuff in that room. This girl is trying to get in contact with Chris about her daughter, and you are blocking her. I saw it on your live video uh, the other day when you was giving Kaylin that uh, camera. You was giving her that camera. Knowing that you didn't buy it, <laughs> you're going to put up there on your doggone the title that you bought the camera. No, somebody gave it to you to promote on uh, on your channel and stuff and everything so I am sick I'm not gonna drag you or talk about you like no dog or anything because I'm not that harsh but I'm just saying you need to listen to your subs when they telling you about Chris that he is no good I done had one of those no, go, no good ass guys. <laughs> yes, I have. And he was my children's father. I don't know if Chris didn't hit you or not. But I'm not saying he has, but he got one of those quick tempers. I didn't know that my children's father had a quick temper until I started dating him and, and everything. But I dated him for eight years, and I got sick of it. And I had to let it go because he was too violent, and he had a real bad temper and stuff. In a way, you don't need that no good man, but I can't tell you, and none of your other subs and none of the reactors can't tell you what to do about Chris. The only person can tell you about Chris is you. 
you the only one can get rid of him. You the only one, boo. But you need to listen to some of your these people out here that's talking to you. And the girl is trying to tell you too. She, you won't uh, talk to her. You or Chris won't talk to her and anything. So she had to go to the reactors and talk to them and tell her and tell them what kind of person Chris is and stuff because you won't listen. And he up here dodging from from the doggone uh, lawyers and stuff and won't keep a job so he won't pay child support. People like that are called deadbeat dads. That's what I call them, deadbeat dads. The ones that's dodging and don't want to pay child support and don't want to take care of his kids. But on y'all Q&A <laughs> that people were asking, that he do he take care of his kids? Oh yeah, I take care of my kids. I do this for my kids. I don't I don't discipline my kids. No, yeah, you don't discipline your kids because you don't take care of your kids. You are running from them. You don't even the your daughter don't even know you. I don't know about the twins, but your daughter, she don't even know you. And you won't that's pitiful. I know how she feel because my father <laughs> was the same doggone way. I tried to get to know my dad. My dad didn't want to get to know me. So I know how the little girl feel. And she, and she going to grow up to hate you. Yes, yeah, she going to grow up to hate. That's wrong to say, but she going to grow up to hate you. I grew up to hate my father. I hope to God that little girl don't grow up to hate you, Chris. I hope to God that your daughter don't grow up to hate you. My kids, they grew up to hate day father because he wasn't a part of day life now he want to be a part of day life now because they are grown but it's too late they don't want to be a part of your life and no i'm not keeping my kids away from their father because they are grown i don't tell them don't see your dad they do it on their own they had a stepfather that took care of them and and got them to be young men and I am proud of him being in their life because he was a good man. And he came in and took over being a stepfather, and they called him dad. But you up here playing a role that you want to be they dad, but you can't even take care of your own kids. I'm not that type of woman. If you got kids, I want you to be a part of You're going to be a part of my kid's life. You're going to have to be a part of your kid's life, too, because if you can't be a part of your kid's life, I don't want you in my life because I would love to get to know your kids just like I want your kids to get to know my kids and stuff. I don't like I don't like men like that. No, if you dog your kids out, what do you think you might do to my kids? You might do mine the same doggone way. I don't like men like that, not at all. And you are, the, the more I see these videos or these reactors of what they're saying about you, Jazz, that you are constantly, I, I, I'm a couple of days behind in my videos, but I'm trying to catch up on them. And you are out here in the stores claiming that you're doing a budget, a $20 budget and stuff, and I don't get it. <laughs> and you're constantly bringing up about your food stamps, and you're constantly bringing up that you can't get these toys for your children and all like that, but you're begging, Jazz. You're telling your subs that you want you, you want them, you want these toys for your kids, but you can't beg. You, but you can't get them. And I don't, I don't like things like that. I don't like begging women. Last week, I felt good because I helped a friend of mine out named Eric. I went to school with him, and he, him, his, his sorority was doing his fundraiser, and he had got on Facebook and asking everybody if they don't mind that him and his sorority are raising up stuff to help the unfortunate. Now, people like that, yes, I would be glad to help, but people like you, no, I would not give you a dag darn dime because you are a con artist. And I went to the Roses, and I bought a whole lot of stuff to help for the fundraiser, for them to give out to the uh, the uh, homeless people and stuff. And I saw all the pictures and all the videos that he did. 
he went out and he passed out food and he helped the homeless. This supper, I forgot the name of the subway place, that helped pass, gave them the, the food to pass out to the homeless. And he had so much stuff that people donated to him and, and bought and gave to him to help the homeless. And I felt it good. I love helping the unfortunate. But you're not unfortunate. You're making money off of YouTube, boo. But nobody did not tell you to get on here and put your business out about your dog on food stamps. You put too much stuff out here, Jazz. We did not know about your dog on food stamps. You the one put us on to that you get food stamps. Yeah, you're not the only one. There's some old out here that be bragging about their food stamps and stuff too. But you get on here and you tell too much of your business. You tell too much and then you claim that you don't talk about people, but you do. You and your mom got up here and put out all of Asia business. Then you're going to get mad because folk getting on you. Nobody didn't tell you to put that girl business out here. And she went out and got and put half your business out here. Like the Lord said, what goes around comes around. And then you and Chris going to tell me, y'all do pray? No, you don't. I ain't never seen you pray or thank the Lord for nothing. Because if it weren't for the Lord, you won't have half the little stuff that you get. But I'm not going to stay on here long, and I'm not going to keep on talking about people. I'm just going to pray for you. Because, no, I'm not jealous of what you got. Because I am blessed for having everything I got, baby. I am blessed. And I'm still fighting and doing things on my own. I don't get on YouTube to beg for nothing. I got 53 little subscribers, and I'm proud of those 53 little subscribers that I got. And I'm happy with what I got. And I'm not looking for no more. Or no less. Nothing more and nothing less. Because I just thank the Lord for the little scribes that I got. And stuff. And I gave one of my subscribers for, for that amount of people that I got. I was happy. And I was tickle pink. And I went out and bought some stuff. And I gave it to one of them. I called them. I got, asked for their address and stuff. And I fed, and I faxed it off to FedEx. And I mailed it off to them. And she thanked me for it. She thanked me for giving her a, lot, a whole lot of stuff. See, that's what you're supposed to do when you get a lot of subscribers. That, that right there, that's a lot of subscribers for me. Because I'm really not on here trying to make no money like you are. I'm just on here just for fun. And just to do videos to keep my mind off of things. But... I will talk to y'all guys later because Jazz is getting me upset. And and I'm not going to let her get me upset. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my videos. And don't forget to comment, compliment, and, uh, and like. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.